Hello, welcome to Switched On Gaming, Paul speaking, and welcome to the final lap here in my career race on Wreckfest on the Nintendo Switch. Yes, that's right, Wreckfest is on the Nintendo Switch. Comes from Bugbear Games, published by THQ Nordic. And I think you will see very quickly that this is an absolutely spectacular addition on the Nintendo Switch. We're going to go through some gameplay. We're going to finish this race off here. I've just been uh, mullered by most of the field and uh, are heavily damaged, but we're going to try and recover. You see all those tires at the side of the track there? All move around in real time. It's got total destruction. Same as the bigger console counterparts. You know, I've kind of given away my my thoughts on this one, I think, already. But absolutely superb job in this port. I don't think anyone expected uh, Bugbear to be able to pull this off. But wow, have they pulled it off in some style. I think when it was shown at a, a direct, it looked a little bit rough. And people were questioning, how on earth is this going to run on the Switch? Because I'll be honest, I played this on Game Pass on the Xbox and uh yeah i mean it runs okay it looks nice but certainly has its frame rate problems uh every now and again you know you, you do get a lot of frame rate drops i believe that was rectified with the um xbox series x and s and probably presumably the ps5 upgrade as well uh, apparently it runs a lot smoother and a consistent frame rate but certainly the free game pass version uh probably isn't the best way to look at this but you know you could you just play this on the switch and and it's just okay it's 30 frames a second and the graphics are taking a downgrade which you absolutely expect but wow you know to fit all this onto a nintendo switch and for it to play as nice as it does dock 10 handheld i mean the guys just need a massive massive pat on the back so we've just had some racing gameplay what i'm going to do um after this is probably do one more race and then also do a destruction derby I'll see if I can do that without interrupting my career mode. We're going to take a look at some of the options here. So, I mean, one of the issues that people always have with um, Wreckfest, and I can probably see why, is that the menus are a little bit bland, and I find it a little bit confusing as well. Um, but there is uh, an upgrade system, if you can find your way to that. So you start off with this basic starter car here, and by earning XP from doing races, you can upgrade stuff. So we've got a new engine here. Um, we can upgrade for 6,500 credits and you can see there, a little bit like Forza, you get the um, car rating and the, I don't know, there's a score basically, I don't know if that's the uh, HP output, I don't know what that is, but it's kind of the class. So you can see on the right hand side there, C, uh, currently C class, 121, if we put this engine in, we got to a B class, 174, uh, score gives us an extra 73 horsepower and this one here that goes up to an A-class. So it's actually 73 extra? No, it's not, is it? I'm not quite sure what that score is, but anyway, you can see that the kind of point of it. So you can put these upgraded parts in. We've got air filters here, and again, the numbers go up at the side. Obviously, being an air filter, it's a smaller change in power, but also a lesser amount of money to put in. There's lots of things you can upgrade. Which is really cool you can earn all these things from in-game uh, xp upgrades also got this paint shop so you can change the styling of your car as well which is really cool i think you can actually do custom ones as well so you can make your own livery change the color Changing what we've got here. Change the main colour of it to green. Uh, but you can do that. There's lots of stuff you can change uh, around that, which is really cool. We've also got the marketplace here. You can buy new cars. There's loads of cars that you can choose from. And again, some of these are locked to XP. So as you earn XP, you can unlock these. It will tell you the conditions. So like this El Matador here. see there what you need to unlock requires level six 
the Nexus RX requires level 17. You get the idea as you level up. So your level, obviously, at the moment is uh, top right hand side. That's all your level details there. So my experience, then my current level, and how much credit I've got. And then you've got your garage here with your cars in. You actually start with a lawnmower. If you've not seen or played this game before, the first event you do is like a lawnmower destruction derby. It's absolutely hilarious. Complete with like ragdoll physics for your player. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, let's see if we can do a... Well, let's have a look around the rest of the menu actually very quickly. So we've got multiplayer. Uh, I did have a quick look at this. I didn't actually get into any session, but there are some sessions available. Obviously, this game isn't out as of the recording of this video. It actually comes out on the 21st of June. So on Tuesday, but you know there is online, and I think that's going to be absolutely hilarious to play online. So that's really cool. And we've got this tournament mode, which is really good. So you get daily challenges that you can complete there for XP, weekly challenge, and a seasonal challenge. Uh, I think this one runs from was it May till August? Was it? Where's the where the they, they did have a big poster? I don't know where it's gone now. But there was kind of a poster. Oh, there we go. Show season poster with the Y button. So, Racing Legends currently running at the moment, uh, May and June, uh, to get all these achievements done and earn some season achievements, season rewards here. So, there's loads of stuff that you can earn. Keep coming back and playing. I love stuff like this daily modes things to unlock I mean absolutely brilliant this mode is in because you're just going to be able to keep coming back to it time and again the main crux of the gameplay is going to be around this career mode you've got these uh, was it five different levels of career and within each level you've got an, a number of different events with different cars look at that last challenge out in a sofa car awesome and as I say the first event you start with here the eat dirt challenge is a uh, destruction derby uh, with uh, lawnmowers, so it's pretty cool. I think I can't. Don't think I can do a um, demolition derby event without coming out of my career mode. So actually, let's just do that next race, and you can see a little bit more of the gameplay because that's why you are here. We've got one more race to go. So this is the. Just go back to it actually. So this is the next race in my career mode. So the natural born wreckers. This is the uh, junior champ championship. Four different races. And you're earning points uh, in your leaderboard here. So I'm currently in third place. You can change the uh, damage mode as well from normal to realistic. Or intense and realistic. Keep it as normal for now. Um, and, and again, as I say, these menus are a little bit, I don't know, they feel a little bit busy and a little bit, I don't know unorganized but you can you've got all the information there what you're going to win if you complete that so let's just dive into this race loading times really aren't too bad at all they feel quite comparable to the uh, xbox version really um i wouldn't have a problem i wouldn't think of the loading times as anything particularly to to raise up a mention as being a negative point so um quite happy with that we're diving here. There is background music in the game. I've turned it off just in case there's copyright strikes. But uh, there is music when you play as well. And you can see here, right at the start of the race, we've got lots of cars on the track. We've got damage happening. And I would say this frame rate is, you know, if it's not 30, it's very close to 30. I've seen very few drops in my sort of hour or two with this so far. So if you hit these tires, they just go flying everywhere. And there's no slowdown. They stay on the track. You can smash through billboards. I don't know where these guys are going. Oh, absolute chaos. Look, look at all the tires go flying. That's so cool. Uh, there is different views as well. Once I get into somewhere where I can change my view, I will go and show you the eternal view. It's on the minus button. Just cycling through the views here. So obviously a bonnet cam, close-up chase, fire chase, and even further chase. And then you've got the internal cockpit view. We're in fifth at the moment. We want a good finish. We might be able to win this championship with a good finish. You can uh, obviously smash into people to wreck them. 
try not to wreck yourself at the same time. I didn't see what the challenge was as well. There's also sort of bonus challenges that you can do. It normally involves either wrecking someone or spinning them out <laughs> um, during a race. But I didn't check what that was. Just want to go back to the far chase view. I normally, I'm very much a, a cockpit person in racing games, but I think in arcade games, I prefer the chase view. You can see what's going on around you. Worked our way up here into second place. But hopefully, you can see already the graphics. Are, you know, yes, obviously the resolution's down, downgraded a bit, but we've got lots of effects going on. We've got, you know, deformation. Obviously, we've got bits flying off the car. We've got smoke and dust. As I say, those tires and bits of wood flying around when you smash into the billboards. 16 cars on the track. You really can't ask for much more. And you can really feel the different surfaces as well between dust and mud. And uh, sort of asphalt as well. work our way up into first place as you kind of expect in these easier races don't think I mentioned the price this year as I say it is out on the 21st of June and obviously a big thanks to THQ for sending me over a nice early copy of this to look at it's really appreciated uh, it will be $40 when it lands on the store £35 so quite a premium for an old game I mean this has been out sort of four or five years appreciate that's quite a premium but, as I say, it's a fully featured package and I think what you're getting here is a really good deal if you like this game um, or if you like racing games in general. I mean, there's nothing really like this on the Switch. We've got some really good arcade racers. Burnout, Need for Speed. Obviously, things like Mario Kart. But, you know, I don't think there's anything quite like this either. And I think the fact it's got online, it's got career mode, it's got customization, unlocks, really unique gameplay. And it's just, you know... They've worked really well to get this to perform brilliantly. I think it's an absolutely great deal, even at £35. Um, I think you can justify it. So that was uh, the season done. I think I won that series, did I? Let's have a look. I don't want to re enter it. I kind of skipped through it. Let's do a uh, demolition derby. Got a demolition race in there on a Monday. Let's do a derby. Uh, or derby. And then we can always try a race after the, uh, this one has been concluded. Let's just skip through this loading for you. Again, I'm not hiding anything now on the loading. I mean, that took maybe 10, well, probably not even 10 seconds to load. So load times are absolutely fine. Um, I'm just skipping them for your convenience, really. So this is a destruction derby. We've got 15 opponents. And uh, it's very much last man standing, last car standing. Got a very helpful radar down in the bottom corner. Right, let's pick these two chasing each other over here, see if we can take one of these out. Oh, there you go. Head on with that one, shovel head. Got to be careful here about how much damage you do, Ooh, how much damage you do to others. You don't want to uh, do too much damage to your own car as well. Got down to 13 opponents. Oh, Ooh, nearly got a head on crash then. You don't want to get stuck on a wall, you kind of make yourself a soft target. Let's do some first person wrecking. Ooh, did I tip that over? I think I might have done. Oh, look at this little car. Bye bye. Oh. Let's get back to the chase cam view. not much left of our car my uh, my little girl loves playing this game she plays it on the xbox um 
but she loves this mode. She will only play the demolition derbies, and she just loves just slamming into people. She's pretty good at it. I wouldn't take her on. All right, we're doing. We're down to 48 damage. We're down to eight opponents left. Oh, you would have been mine. Oh, sandwich there on orange. This blue one's a sitting duck. It looks like he's already wrecked. Oh, great hit there by who was that? Mad Molly. But you've just made yourself a target. Mad Molly for three of us. Oh, Hurricane Molly. Mad Molly's sister. Okay, our car is looking severely wrecked. Right. Oh, I was lined up for Wild Crusher and got hit. Looks like a battlefield, doesn't it? Right, Shovelhead, you're going down. Oh, missed it. A wrecked Hurricane Molly. Oh, come on. Get off me. Three opponents left. So we've got Shovelhead, Hurricane Molly. Right, Hurricane Molly is dead. Oh, there we go. That's the end of Hurricane Molly. So we've got two left. You can sort of fake out your opponents by bumping an already wrecked car. Oh, there's Diablo. We've nearly killed him. Trying to use some of the other cars as cover. Oh, shovel head's going to be a head on. Oh, did we win? I think we might have won. We're still going. Yes. Well, we wrecked three there. <laughs> but that was uh, the sort of chaos you're going to get in a destruction derby. So we earned some point, uh, uh, some pieces, sorry. We get a shovel ton of XP, which also unlocks new parts. We get some cash as well. There we go, we completed our bonuses as well. So we've got a full house on that event. What else have we got? We've got banger racing. We've got this demolition racing. Bangers Mean Machine Challenge. Looks like that's a head to head against one of the drivers, I think. Uh, we've got the lawnmower. Let's have a look at the lawnmowers if we can get into that. Figure of eight track with lawnmowers. So here's our little powerhouse. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll select that. And we get into the figure of eight race. So this is going to be absolute chaos as well. Figure of eight track, the Bloomfield Speedway. I don't know why there's a combine harvester on the track. Don't ask. Don't ask why there's a combine harvester. Just stay out of its way. Oh my goodness. So this is going to start reasonably serene. What we've got six laps of this short track. is going to start as I say reasonably good until the uh, the field spreads out a bit and then that crossover point will come into play oh that was close We've got to finish him first love the way the sort of the drivers are leaning over as well it's really cool as I say this feels like to me I mean I'm not a the world's biggest player oh my goodness what is going on there They've somehow managed to get their combine harvester over. 
Uh, I'm not the world's biggest player of uh, Wreckfest on the Xbox, I must admit. And I, I will admit that my interest was definitely peaked once I saw about the Switch version. And then um, I decided to wait for the Switch version to really sort of play more of it as a driver goes flying now. Um, but yeah, it feels like, as I say, I'm not, not, not the biggest player, but it does feel like this is feature complete. Oh, the person that meets that um, combine harvester in the crossover is going to be absolutely murdered. Somehow managing to avoid that crossover point at the moment. Where are we? We're in first, actually. So we're getting through these beginner events just fine. There's obviously uh, different skill levels as well. So I think there's enough content here with the uh, online multiplayer and those uh, what they call the tournament events with those sort of weekly and daily challenges and the reward unlocks. Oh my god, there's uh, there's loads to do on the last lap here, and we've somehow survived the crossover point. Oh no, we're not going to survive that. Should have broke. Oh, we've gone down to third. Oh, no. <laughs> On the crossover. It had to happen. We got absolutely wiped out at the crossover point. Let's see if we can see uh, what the replays look like. Uh, can we go to the last lap? I don't think we can. This is, uh, if you think the frame rate's a bit bust, I am obviously fast forward in this. Trying to get to, I don't think we're going to get to the last lap, not easily. Kind of committed to it now, but... Just have a look at some normal pace footage you can see the frame rate's absolutely fine you can hide the ui as well so if you want to record some clean footage for whatever reason you can do that and so i just think this is just a really really nice game i mean let me know in the comments below Hopefully you've seen enough footage of this one. I know it's uh, still very early on in the game, but I've no reason to believe that the frame rate and stuff like that's going to change really. You know, it's not like there's any more cars on the track or the tracks are sort of massively more complicated. That was the ending of the race right there. Taken out on the crossover. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep playing this one. So yeah, it's really a, an early look at this, but let me know what you think in the comments below. I've been loving my time with this. I've been really looking forward to it coming to the Switch and uh, have not been disappointed with the job that Bugbear have done. I think it's absolutely brilliant. I know a lot of people uh, that I follow on Twitter and follow me on Twitter uh, are getting this as well. Really looking forward to getting the physical copy uh, through the post tomorrow. Excellent at doing a physical copy as well. So, so there you go. That is an early look at Wreckfest. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. As I say, I think this is awesome. Highly recommend it. And uh, I will happily answer any questions you have. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Leave me a comment below. All that good stuff. It's really appreciated. And I will see you next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.